Another year, another draft. Nashville moving up from 5-1, to one, but everyone else stayed in place. Well, besides the guys who got pushed back. So not a very exciting lottery, except for Nashville fans. Islanders and Buffalo fans feeling sad, and no one cares about the next two. All right, so I have no clue what's, <laughs> what's even in the draft. Uh, we haven't uh, had, too, obviously, too much interest in scouting. I might not even have much interest in scouting for the rest of this uh, moat. I'm still going to draft and, you know, we'll try to, you know, for my ego, try to find some, uh, you know, blind steals and stuff like that. But it's, yeah, it, it, we're all about winning right now. We have the core. There's really not too many more pieces that we need. Tavares retiring. Tarasenko. Petrangelo. Her, good lord, look who's retiring. Oh my gosh, we're at that point. Strom, Burkowski, Kerfoot. Good gracious. I'm not going to check all of them overall wise. So you can just see the names that are biting the dust now. Yeah, we are getting pretty deep into this. We made it to the cup finals. Failed to win. Very, very unfortunate. Still salty. It's just we seem to be getting everything right. And then all of a sudden it kind of fell to pieces at the end. Just seems like that uh, Philly organization was meant to win there. Uh, they also won the Calder Cup, by the way. Um, not a whole lot of goalie retirements here. But there we are. Tavares becomes a coach. Okay, it doesn't look like anyone became scouts. Um, I don't see any uh, coaching retirements for us. So I'll check out, obviously, the draft class here. We'll do some pre-draft interviews. Um, lol. I like how I'm auto-scouting and it finds them. Two goalies as well. Let's see about low elites. I probably won't find... Oh my gosh, what the hell? All right, I'm just going to auto-scout from now on. Yeah, why not? It's not like we really missed anything. Hell, there could even be a low elite grinder here. He's a gem. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess if you get deep enough, scouting is not really the biggest issue. A gem here, a couple guys. How about on the defensive end? I don't even think I'm going to interview anyone highly unlikely yeah there's not even any unknowns here yeah screw it all right so we uh, we know what we're looking for ah philly we got to look at this all year philadelphia wins the cup sharks got the president's got eliminated first round we made it just couldn't pull it off. Art Ross to Matthews. Ehlers got the heart. Uh, Legacy with the Norris. Damn right. McKinnon, Lady Bing. Huxley got that Calder. Love to see it. I'm kind of surprised that goaltender didn't get it. I would have given it to him, to be honest. But, all right. Huxley wins it. Con Smythe to Eichel, the man who was just traded for a bag of pucks. All right, a little bit more for, than a bag of pucks. But I, I can't believe how stupid Buffalo is for allowing them to lottery protect their pick from this year. You're a fucking moron, whoever the GM. Kevin Adams, you're a goddamn moron for letting them lot. That's That was your one big piece that you want to have good. You let them top 10 protect it. You are so stupid. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. But also, this is like one of those weird situations. Um, you guys can see the winners, right? So I just want to talk about this trade a little bit. Before I talk about it some more on the podcast today, um, this is just one of those weird situations where I think both teams kind of got screwed a little bit. Obviously, Vegas gets Eichel, but they got to move out like another five to ten million, which means one of their top six pieces, Smith, Marcheseau, Carlson, and they already moved out Tuck, who is, I don't know, I consider him middle six. There's a lot of adamant Vegas fans that consider him top six. I, I don't know. <laughs> Vegas, you got Eichel, but at what cost? Yeah, the trade, you fleeced the trade, but are you, how, I don't know how they're going to remain good. They got Petrangelo signed to a great, a huge contract, and he's horrible this year. I don't know. We'll see what happens, though. We'll see what happens. Anyway, if you want to hear more about this, we're going to talk about a great length on Tukey's Take podcast today, which will be probably out this evening. By the way, if you're not uh, following that, you should go follow that. Anyway, let's draft enough about real life and plugging a podcast. Let's do the stuff. We don't have a first, right? Yeah, we don't have a first. When's our trade coming up? 
We might not be able to get any. We did get some seconds, but we know one of them's going to suck. 42, 63, 93, 95. So 42, 63, and then the 90s. So we can grab... Not going to be able to get this guy. That's okay. We can get this dude. Weak character. Shoot pitch. Excuse me. So not as great. Grotch have another center sniper. Supposedly has X factors. Eh, no. Never mind. Uh, right D, DFD, two year ETA cycle pinch with guaranteed X factors. Maybe Rodney Sim. But we'd have to either move up or he'd have to fall. We can get Bazina. Easy. And for the 90s, we got one there and then another one. We could go... Ooh. I, yeah, I got two guys there. Fuck me. We're almost set. I would love to either get... I'm actually thinking going for Keller here. I want If I'm going to move up, screw a defenseman. Go for Keller. Get some two-way forwards, man. Maybe that's the ticket. <laughs> I'll check my defensive situation. And... Uh, but I'm pretty sure we're, we're like obviously we have our core, the top four defense we're locked in, and we're Mac. Well, McAvoy's gone, but we should, Bellamy should slot in. We still have Ekholm. I think that's your that's your two right there. We don't necessarily need the other guy. Does Bell? Yeah, Bellamy has some X factors. Actually, a lot of them. So I want to do him and Ekholm together. Who both? Yeah, both have X factors. I can grab that other guy, but what's the point? I really think I should go for like some two way forwards here, just because that's what we don't really have, and maybe that's. I don't know, maybe they're very, very useful this year. With the way the X-Factors work, boost in chemistries. It's not so much about the perfect combination of player types anymore. So maybe, uh, maybe that's what we want to push for. Hanzus can be traded. Yeah, in fact, I might even move him. Because here's the thing, we have that low elite who basically took his spot. Hanzus is built horribly. I know people were saying build a fourth line scoring line, but it ain't going to be with this guy. <laughs> Terrible awareness on both the defense and the offensive side of things. So he's a trade asset in my opinion. And that's like, hey, do we want to move up into the first? Is there any reason to do that? I mean, we could get the we could get the other defenseman. We don't necessarily, like I said, we don't really need him. I didn't mean to go here. Well, actually, I'll, I'll count our picks just to make sure. Yeah, we only have eight. I could theoretically move up into the first and still keep those other two. Or, like... I don't necessarily need to... Oh, damn. Wow. None of them are on the block here? I'm very surprised that Phillies isn't on the block. I would have to, like, move for this pick, which is... What pick is this? I think this is two. 39. Ah. Damn. The guy I'm after would be at 39. I don't know. I can grab a couple. Jason Ronning is more guaranteed X Factor stuff. Uh, again, but he was shoot pinch with weak character. I really didn't like that. Gardner's got nothing. Sim would be the only one I'd go for. I don't know. I can maybe trade for a pick in the future. Going for this guy. I really want him, though. 39. I'd have to go earlier than 39. But he's got three-year ETA. It's not... I mean, it's still it's still kind of worth giving up the other guy because he's absolute garbage. It's just I wish I can get. One of these, I'm not, I know I'm not. I'm, I'll give it to like the Islanders or something like that. Thirty third man. It's not great, obviously. Dude, man, they might not even want him. No, they they want him. Hanzus. Yeah, we can still get. We can get something else too. Maybe in a second from next year or something. Maybe. Eh, meh. We'll see. 
Oh, they okay, cool. Yeah, you know, we'll trade him for two seconds. 22-year-old who hasn't cracked the NHL yet? Absolutely. So we got three seconds this year. We got an extra one from next year. That's okay. Okay return for the guy. Might have been able to squeeze something more out of him, but who cares? 33 and the 42, which I could still move up. Could still move that up if I want to. Let's sim this pick. Terrible top five. Not even an 80 overall in the group. So do I want to move that up? I mean, maybe. This is the best option, is Rodney Sim. The thing is, though, he's another DFD, so he won't really work with the other guy. But, then again, what else are we going to grab here? I'm not going to take Gardner. It's the same type thing, but without the X factors. Sim is pretty much, yeah, he's guaranteed to have both of those. Could go for another center sniper, which I really, really don't need. Yeah, he's got gem. Not too sure if it's X Factor. Does this guy, but he's got the weak character and he's shoot pinch. Which uh, can I check from here? I think my we were like balanced and I mean, but it wouldn't be bad. Hold on, hold on. Where is? Will it show me? No. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to see if it'll show me what... <sighs> God damn it, not for him. So Bellamy... Are really not going to show him for anyone, huh? Oh, wait, Bellamy wasn't in there. There we go. So he's... Current coach balance cycles. Down on that third line. I don't know. Maybe it would work. But a weak character is not great. Yeah, everyone's pinch cycle. It's not shoot. I know that. It's probably it's maybe balanced hold line. It should really be showing at home here because he actually played. That's so stupid that it's actually not showing him. Very very unfortunate. Like it doesn't even show me what he prefers. All right, it'll show McAvoy. So okay, okay, it was balanced, balanced. Eh, I mean it'll work. Pinch cycle would, or sorry, shoot cycle would literally work. So okay, we could go for him. He's got the better ETA, and this is like a thing if Ekholm doesn't work on the long term, which I can't really see him not. He's looking tremendous so far. And we got him. Oh, dude, look at that friggin' deal. Yeah, I'd go for the right-handed guy. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of decisions trying to be made here, but it seems minor, but... If I'm going to move, I want to make sure it's for the right thing. So I got to move up. Okay. Oh, perfect. Can move up for this pick. Uh, 42. For that. Was that just saying league unapproved? I don't think so. I must have been misreading it. Um, I'm, yeah, likely not. Uh, am I going to get Lozon back? Who's going to be depth? Hopefully someone listed as depth. Hello, Varlamov. Pinch cycle, huh? Wouldn't be awful. Again, it's... Honestly, I kind of like Varlamov here. Could be depth. Alright, let's throw in Lausanne here. I don't think that's enough. Nah, damn. I was hoping because they wanted him, but yeah, he's got like no value because he's uh, expiring. Could throw in Kale. Oh, good gracious, yeah. That should 100% go through. In fact, we could probably get more. We're swat. We can't get it for this year. Yep. Six and a seven. Might have been able to get more, but whatever. Got that contract out of there. Flurry's been in AHL. <laughs> so that saves us a tiny bit of money. I still haven't decided on I although yeah, McAvoy is pretty much gone. I guess I could have let's let's see if anyone wants McAvoy. Cause we ain't gonna use him. We can get a little bit back for him. Throw him to the mm, I don't really want him in my division. 
Is it going to be possible to not have that happen? Yeah, Pittsburgh kind of wants them. Doubt they're able to sign them, so this is pretty much a free pick. From next year, trying to get a second. That's no way. Maybe Winnipeg second and hope that Winnipeg doesn't have a great... No, it's not going to work either, but I'll try it anyway. Yeah, so a third, which should go through from... They don't have a third. I don't want that one. I mean, will it will it matter if it's... God damn it. Why does no one have thirds? No one ever has the stuff that we want. You ever notice that? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, huh? eh, it'll be close, but it should go through with the blocks. Yep. Cool. So McAvoy, the rights to Columbus. And there we go. Yeah, I decided I wasn't going to sign him. Like I said, I want to get just a more balanced format going. Sometimes I feel like that's an issue to have too good of players and the, and the game just makes you suck. So, well, here's a good test of that. Anyway, we just made the trades. I think that's all the trades we're going to make here at the draft. A lot of wheeling and dealing. Let's move up here. The 33, which we will use to grab uh, two-way forward. No, not you. Get out of here. Keller, right? Keller and then the defenseman. Yeah. So Christoph Keller, he's got X factors. He looks pretty good. Let's snag him. 64, low elite. On to our next pick at the 39. Let's see anything crazy. Nope. Which we'll grab this guy listed at 41, correct, Sim? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is who we're going for. Or was it this guy now? Fuck. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. It could have been either one of them, huh? Yeah, yeah. No, it should be this guy because the great contract for Ekholm. Yeah. Rodney Sim. 67, medium top four. Not too bad. And yes, they were both confirmed X Factor. Was this guy had? Yep, they were all confirmed. Up to. Is this a blind pick? Hold on. I think that we'll, I'm just making sure I got everything right. I don't, there's not, I mean, I guess I could have traded up for one of those other guys, but what's, what the hell's the point? I don't really need any of them. Don't need the winger playmaker. We got one of those. I can grab both of these grinders with, or sorry, both of these guys in 90. I think this is just blind pick. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with anything else. So let's just take this blind pick. Try to get a massive dub. This is it. This is the guy. Elite. Boom! 47. Meet him elite. There we are. Nice pick there in this. Well, I mean, it's an okay pick in the seventh. <laughs> value wise, it'll probably be. Yeah. It'll actually the value will go up, yeah. Or the value is up and it might continue to go up. I'm gonna make sure I don't miss out on these because so I got the 93 and Alright, I should be able to get both of them. I can at least get that first guy, which is the most important one. The other guy's not even guaranteed to be a low elite. In fact, probably isn't. 93, yeah, we'll be fine. All right, up we go. So I might even make another pick with this other one. If I look like I can see maybe a possible medium elite, but I don't think so. Anyway, let's grab a Lubomir Bazina. Five-year ETA. But hey, if he grows, he grows. What? Huh? Um, are you sure about five-year ETA? He's 61 overall. Okay. Maybe I, did I misread that? Maybe I did. Maybe it wasn't confirmed. That's a four-year ETA. I don't know. Either way, 61 overall, medium elite. Yes, he's 19, but better overall than I thought I was getting. Definitely. What am I doing? Oh, <laughs> I tried to click it like I could pick it. Click it like I could pick it. Sim pick. It just goes in here anyway. 47 starter for Minnesota. So this guy, this is, I think there's near zero chance he's a, he's a, a low elite here. Near zero chance, especially with that ETA. Yeah, zero chance. Okay, let's see what else. Um, I could go for this guy. Not, oh, 19. X, uh, this is the guy. I think, I think this is our chance right here. 
Another possible elite. Let's go. Fuck, no. Nah. He was a grinder. Top nine. All right, I do want to see what that guy's going to turn out to be. That, uh, the low. I'm a little bummed. I really I really thought that had a good chance to be a uh, medium elite right there. I mean, it did. It technically did. Had a very good chance. Yeah, he was low six. So, pretty much the same thing we just got. Nearly identical, except one less overall. You can argue low six is better. Depends. Sometimes they, those lows just don't grow. Either way, it's not. That's a semi-inconsequential pick. All right, I want to make sure I get the rest of these guys. Oh, wait, that wasn't even the guy that went. It was Lava Lee. Yeah, so he could, uh, he could, still, <laughs> he could still be better. Uh, oh, I could get this guy with our next pick. Man, we're gonna be stacked. How many goalies we have now? All right, I'll sim. I'll go back and check that dude out. Watch him be a low elite and get myself screwed. No, <laughs> they went directly after each other. They're, they're the exact same knights and lovely. High starter right there is pretty dope. He's nineteen though, fifty three. Oof, not great. Not great, Bob. All right, well we can get that goaltender. If we really want, and why the heck not? Connor, 55, 19, no X factors, but more elite trade value. 127. I think we're good. No. All right, I'll double check from here. Yeah, we're fine. I could, I'll just go probably just off the board right here. Unless I have something that can get the 152 next. I don't know, actually. No. Oh, I, yeah. And I, these, these are all. I'll get them all. I'll get the rest of my pins here. We'll just go off the board. And snag them all. Yeah, we can get all of them. Sweet. Another medium elite goaltender. 1959 overall. Again, no X factor, but who cares? Dude, how many elite goaltenders do we have now? I'm pretty sure it's a lot. Get out. 159. We will grab... Mr. OFD, top four, five-year ETA. Good luck, Gustav Zuzan. 49. Yeah, not making it. Uh, this should be, yeah, he's two-something. All right. Last pick. And we will grab this other low elite, 19. Five-year ETA. Good shot utilization. No, weak, no perceived weaknesses, so that's good. I'm glad they got rid of everyone in the later round sucking. Oh, he's actually not a two-way. He's a sniper, and he's 58 overall. I'm glad they got rid of everyone absolutely sucking at face-offs in the later stages. It made zero sense. <laughs> so I'm glad. I mean, they might not develop it, but it's not like they all have that weakness now. Which is very, very good. So, all in all, a pretty damn good draft here. Again, considering, you know, we don't have a first. We're stable to, yeah, we move some stuff around, but I really like what we did here. So once again, a very strong draft. Had a blind pick in there. What, I get like three medium elite goaltenders? <laughs> pretty sure I did. Some solid guys in the second round. Yeah, Morales was the blind pick, I think. Bazina, or was it? No, yeah, Bazina was. Yeah, I tried to go for. No, no, no. Ah, well, I don't know. Bazina was the medium elite. Burns was. Yeah. All right. Again, solid draft. All things considered. Which brings us to, first of all, keeping our scouts. Because why the hell wouldn't you? Hey. Look at you not mixing it up. Oh my god, you stayed. I didn't even have to scroll. All right, I'm just going to make sure that's it. I'm pretty sure there's only two, but yeah, there we go. All right. Resign phase. This is where the fun begins. Hello, Spruyev. Wow, they actually are setting higher than a million for the two ways now. I don't think it did that last year. Uh, Lausanne, we're going to get rid of. So here's the thing. Do we switch over to a fourth line scoring line? The grinders did pretty good in the playoffs, but we will have other guys that can come up. And these guys are all on the older side of things, so I guess we are. I guess we're gonna do it. And we're just gonna we're gonna ba I'm basically gonna go next best guy, essentially. Next man up, next best guy. All across the uh all across the board. Keep rivers, he's an enforcer. It's hilarious. And I might even use him as one of my depth pieces. Just for fun. Still keep Twerinski for the uh 
Look at me, not doing what I should be doing. Rip Melonby, he never panned out. Fritz. He's so good defensively. He has 99 defensive awareness, man. 100% keeping this guy around. You never know if you want, if I want it. Like I said, I don't know if I want to go back to that grinder thing. So I'm going to keep around all those dudes. Cal and Lind, unfortunately, didn't pan out. We're still going to keep them around because we're going to need guys under contract. And they want decent deals. Souls are probably not making it. I'm keeping these guys around, though, as I said. Uh, Lennox, okay, Donahue needs to get signed, perfect. Uh, and Lennox, hold on, hold on. <laughs> so they're signing him. Uh-oh. Guy Gordov back to medium elite. Wham, wham. Anyway, him and Wallstead are the one-two punch. Lennox, don't need to sign him because I have Boynton, but will Donahue be... Eh, he's listed as other goalie. Whatever, give him the starts, who the fuck cares? Say it, Jill. <laughs> All right, so theoretically, Riley and Robertson, you want to move this year for the value. Wait on the other guys. <laughs> All your goalies are belong to me. Vance Day. Geeky rejected. Couple new guys, Rivers, Richard. Come on, Cristiano. He's like, yo, if I'm sacrificing my knuckles, you gotta pay me more. I'm like, all right, I'll pay you like Sonic. And then we both left. No, there you go. Uh, Cristiano, oh, he didn't, went down to low nine. I think he was low six before. Or no, was he low elite? I can't remember. Either way, I mean, he could do it. <laughs> and he could play middle too. It's our enforcer, it's, it's our tough guy. Oh, he's so perfect for, like, anywhere. I might use him as, like, just... I might just keep him in the NHL to throw him on, like, a line or something like that. For, or I could just use him as Mike's... No, it makes no sense. Like, I'll, as exclusive depth, I'll use him as, like, maybe a third, fourth line. I don't know. I don't know if I'll even use him. I just love him. So that's it, right? Re what the hell, Rivers? He's holding out on me. Max two-way for a year. If you don't accept this, what the heck? Wow, that was my, the first... Wow, the scouts took forever. All right, there we go. Rivers got his two-way for over a mil. He knows he's going to be up to. That's why he's holding out for that. He's like, yeah, give me a two-way, but... I know you're going to put me in the NHL at least a little bit. And you're probably right, buddy. You're probably right. So what are we looking at here? Lang, Lambert, Kovacs, who's now franchise, apparently? Yeah, Lang, Lambert, Kovacs, Tootin, Lawrence, Grimm, oof, 84. That better be stat minus. How is it going to be stat minuses? Holy fuck. Oh, I am worried about the Grimm at Morris. We traded a lot for this guy. Well, Spree could be better. <laughs> Anyway, you got Spruyev, McIntosh. Like, how do you choose between these guys, by the way? Huxley, Vitacek, Lad now. So, one, two, three, four, five. Only five. We do need one extra guy for the bottom six, then, theoretically, because, I mean, yeah, we still have Lop and Rivers. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe, will a grinder work with some of those other guys? Who knows? Who's Marsh? Another grinder. <laughs> They're all working out. So, again, I think I'll try the fourth line scoring line this year. And if it doesn't work, we got Lop. Marsh, Rivers, um, I thought I had one more, Fritz, okay, well, we might sign someone in free agency, we have 7.6 million to work with, so we might sign, I mean, hell, maybe even groom at Morris, we've moved down to second line, fuck me, no, I just, I signed his, I gotta play him top six, he's gotta earn that money, so I think we signed some kind of a, uh, Third liner here. Either a power forward or a playmaker. Well, we do have two playmakers. So maybe a power forward of some sort. Theoretically, you can play McIntosh or Spruyev in that on that fourth line. McIntosh is making 
the amount of money where it doesn't really matter where he plays now, which is great. He might, he played so good, it's like hard hard to put him on that fourth, but again, like I said, we're going to, well, I'm going to try what you guys uh, suggested. I'm really disappointed about Grimmett Morris. Like really, really disappointed. He's, he has to have a bounce back here. And I might try Lambert and Kovacs switched. I might try that out just to see. All right. Well, we're pretty much done. We got everyone signed. Up the free agency we go. We got all the coaches. We got all the scouts. I'm not going to fire the coach after getting to the Stanley Cup. That doesn't make any sense now. I, I would have fired him if we had another first round accent, but it worked until the point where it didn't. Huxley. Risk. This is a risk. Do I do the risk? Maybe I go shorter and save money. All right, let's count. Let's do some counting here. Five years would line him up with Macintosh. And that would be a bit better of a deal. He still has a lot of growth left on him. It'd be 3.06. Probably worth it for a guy who's likely playing third line. And uh, how much is he going to get that much better, though? That's the question. Does he get that much better? I'm still doing it. It's so worth it. Vitacek's a little overpaid, though, at this point. But that is what it is. Hold off on Kajkovic. Bastion. Varlamov. Oh, great. And this was, I was like, hey, let's use Varlamov as my depth piece. And now he doesn't want to come back. Maybe if I use him as depth, he'll be happier. He's listed as minor two, but I'm going to use him as depth because he's good enough for that, I think. What kind of... I don't remember. I think he was cycle pinch, though. I think that's going to be everything. That's our only real extension. Okay. How about free agency? Not a whole lot. At least of top, top guys. Uh, let's see. Honestly, I can grab a two-way forward as well if I really want. I could try one of them out for like a third liner. Tyler Bertuzzi, who is, ooh, looks like he would potentially fit that third line as well. Solid enough. P power forward and Ratcliffe, who looks like he'd fit really well kind of everywhere. I like that Tyler Bertuzzi only wants one year, though. Not going to go back to Timo Meyer. And I might want to keep a bit of money left over in case we want to grab some kind of a rental, although I don't know if I see that happening. Maybe like a goaltender. Like a rental goaltender. At the, uh, just uh, as an insurance policy. If Kai, if Kai Gorodov shits the bed. Ratcliffe or Bertuzzi? Ah, never mind. Ratcliffe's offense is awful. Bertuzzi might be the one, man. Kind of a veteran dude. Could play either side. We got our centers. He's good defensively, solid offensively. He kind of does everything. He's got shit discipline, though. Which, of course, doesn't... Yeah, that's, that's the thing I'm worried about, the shitty discipline. Because that's bitten us every... Well, we're going to... Let's be real. It doesn't matter what discipline I have. We're going to take 10,000 penalties. That's just what my teams do. We could also go for Kunin. He's not even that much better. Yeah, and he fits line four, chemistry-wise. I don't know. Maybe someone like Bertuzzi. Ratcliffe would be okay. For Toronto, I don't like the uh, potential. Going back to Timo Meyer doesn't sound super thrilling. Gruel, Couturier is too old. You could go. Gruel looks like he'd fit too, but. I don't know. There's some options. You could also pursue the goaltender here, but nah. I figured going at the uh, deadline's a much, much better idea than that. 
Okay. So what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Who should be the guy that fills this last, last spot? We're still going to uh, hold on to... I think we still got him. That guy we used his depth last season. He's probably got no value. So I'm looking yeah, at McLennan. There we go. We still got McLennan. Use him as my skater depth just fine. He's brilliant for that top six depth. Maybe use the enforcer as the bottom six depth or maybe not since we're going the skill route. We don't really have anyone else we could use. Maybe Kaikovic. You can maybe make that argument. I don't remember how good he was though. Listed as depth. He's pretty good too. They're both snipers, however. I kind of still want to use the enforcer just for lulls. So I might. Anyway, let me know. But yeah, we still need that one more piece to fill out the actual roster. And I was thinking of going for the third liner. But also it might be good getting like an 83 because it balances it. Because again, Spruyev, man. You might want to have him and McIntosh on the same line. I don't maybe double sniper, you know, you could argue maybe not great. Yeah, hard to say how he's going to do because he's been in Russia. And those aren't real stats. Those are all generated. I don't know how, how big of a shot taker he, he is. Huxley, if if he grows, I don't know. Vitacek's going to be fourth line, pretty much guaranteed. Lad most likely going to be on that fourth line, which kind of makes things interested. We're going to need... Uh, dude, that's the thing. If we think we're going to go Spree of McIntosh, same line... The other thing is I don't necessarily want Spriev as my center with only 71 face-offs. I like McIntosh because he's got, you know, at least over 75. Again, we could we could just say he's he's going to be... Maybe I want to pursue someone who could play center for that third line and play Spriev on the wing. I could even trade. Honestly, we, we could trade for someone too. It's not out of the question. We don't have to sign someone. We could legit trade for someone too. So I'll give us a look here. Oh, that's right. You can't actually go for centers. Player type. Am I still going? I'll check two-way fours and power fours because that's the most likely what I'm going to go with. So by overall wise, we'll start around 85. There's, yeah, we know about Bertuzzi. Uh, Sharon Govich, not extended. We could afford him for this year. Pretty solid. Doesn't look doesn't look like he fits the scheme too well. Cousins, too much. Uh, Forsberg, mm, faceoffs are terrible. Kunin, we know about. Uh, Barkov, nope. Cool, too young and too expensive. Uh, Manja, nope. Heedle. An extra year, but yeah, connect need too long. Pinto, okay, not exactly ideal. Hmm, Jost looks solid, doesn't fit into the scheme. Hard to say on Norris, and too many years left, honestly. Sallow, a winger. This guy would be okay. But not great. Ah, this sucks. There's nothing perfect in the way of two-way forwards. How about power forwards? It's going to be hard to find a center power forward. But we'll take a look. Taking a look. Zaka fits into our third line confirmed, and he's on this, and he'd be fit into the second power play. His offensive awareness is a bit low. It's a bit low, but he's got decent faceoffs, decent passing, decent shot. Doesn't look like he shoots a lot though. But this would allow us to split up our. Uh, the snipers, and then we can 100% use a playmaker there. Hopefully that low elite jumps, or we use Vitacek there again, one of the two. Maybe Zaka, maybe. Not married to that yet. Bertram, no. Gaucher, <sighs> low face offs, and likely fits into our scheme pretty well. 
Yeah, hard to find the centers, man. Holy shit, Byfield. Oh my goodness. That contract is so low. I didn't even consider him. Because I thought overall was going to be way too high. That contract is so good. I don't care that it's th two years after this one. That contract is so low. Maybe. Value, but dude, how many, how many elite goalies do we have? This is fucking perfect. I think we got to go for Quinn Byfield here. He's right entering his prime. He's 87, won a 3.4 mil deal. We give him power play time. It should keep him happy. Again, but is there something to be said about he's going to be too good? Pooley Arvey's a power forward? Okay. I don't know, man. It Again, we run into that issue. Is he going to be too good? But... It looks like almost everything works. All right. Well, let me know, guys. You guys have seen pretty much all the options between free agency and possible trades. We could make that happen. We could 100% make that happen with all those goaltenders we have. All those goaltenders. We'll give a look at the value. Put a couple of them in there. But who the fuck cares? We got to trade two of them anyway. Put two of them in there. <laughs> Let's see. Winnipeg, you want some goaltenders? They do. They, uh, they're they're going to say single player for the same role, however. That's the, yeah, that's the downside. But, all right, let's just, let's get a Gant. Yeah, they don't want to give up Byfield. I wouldn't either on that contract. But are we going to be able to make it extremely worth their while? That's the big question here. Which one was it? I know it was Donahue. Was he? No, I think it was actually the 18-year-old hilarious. Yeah, it was the 18-year-old hilariously enough. These two we just drafted. I can always check. Derpy. And derpy. And this guy was 29. Yeah. So, like, that gets us started. It's not even enough with that. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa. Not Donahue. Not Donahue. Be, 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 be. Wait, we just drafted him. Well, hold on. 30. Do we, oh, yeah, I got three. That's right. It was Riley. There we go. Silly me. That gets us close. They'll probably say same player for a similar role. So you're going to have to throw some other stuff in there. We want to avoid maybe moving our first, although I wouldn't be opposed to it. They don't want it. We got some stuff down here. Center sniper. 2361, another grinder. Zuzan, who we just drafted. Yemelin, Love. Another say okay, you can throw in like Yamelin. Yeah, well, there's 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 we we could probably make this work. Could probably make this work. So now you guys have really seen all the options in depth and what we could do to make some of this stuff work. So let me know what you guys think, uh, the moves that we should make and stuff like that. Hit that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.